Hello friends, God bless you and uh, uh, today I am going to speak a very specific thing that who kills the destiny? Who kills our destiny? You see in scripture Paul talks about the devil is like a roaring lion to devour whoever he can find. Bible is very clear, devil cannot devour everybody. And he is a, displayed as a, uh, or re, um, described as a roaring lion. If you have watched any wildlife videos or movie, you know that the lion becomes totally still before devouring the prey or killing the prey. They are so still, make no sound. If they roar, the prey will run away. So then why scripture says that devil is like a roaring lion? And the only reason is because Jesus died and rose again, all authority is given to Jesus on earth and in heaven. Devil has no authority. So what he has is a pretension. He pretends that he has a power and he roars. And when he roars means when he brings lies, and whoever believes on those lies, he can devour them. But not everyone. The person who believes in the promises of God and the finished work of Christ on the cross, devil cannot do nothing. He has no authority, no power. And the best way to understand this is uh, you can find in the uh, book of Numbers chapter 13. When Moses is sending these 12 spies. Now, the, the, the original Hebrew word for spy is uh, Meraglim. Meraglim is not actually a spy. Meraglim is, is actually a, a prince or the best way uh, if you want to describe it would be observer. So these 12, 12 uh, uh, spies or Meraglim observers or the prince they were selected by God to be a leader for their tribe and they had a special name. If you, I'm just going to quickly say their names and meaning, uh, it will bring you uh, some understanding. Shamua means obedient or having an understanding. Shafat means judge. Caleb, praise. Egal is redeemed. Joshua, Savior, Palti, God liberates or God delivers. Gadiel, God is my fortune. Gadi is, is good fortune. Amiel, God of my people. Setur means destroyer or destroying. Nabi, very secret. And last one is Well means, uh, Gewel means majesty of God. God has selected these 12 people to become a leader of their tribes. And now God is sending them to promised land as an observer. That means God is taking them, uh, next, God is preparing them to go to next level in their journey. They were leaders in a wilderness, but in a promised land, God says, observe this land. This is the land I'm taking you a uh, next level up where you will be ruler uh, or, or you will be uh, a leader for my tribe. So God was inviting them to a higher level, but instead of understanding what God is doing or God has given them a name, they believed just like the devil comes like a roaring lion and said, that, hey, you are grasshoppers. And it was not God who says that you will not enter. It did not God was not that they, they say that you will die here. They prophesied over themselves. They said that God, you said that we are leaders. You are taking us some next level. But no, 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 no. We are grasshoppers. It, we, we, we maybe we are grasshopper in their eyes, but more importantly, we are grasshopper in our own eyes. Now we realize who we are. 
we are not leader we are not ready to become observed we are not ready to to lead these people in a promised land we are just grasshoppers and it would be better for us to die in this desert or if we if we would have died in Egypt and now we will die in this they prophesied over themselves god wanted to take them to the next level in their journey but they become a destiny killer god has a different de- destiny for abram so he changed his name to abraham god has a different destiny for sarai so god changed her name to sarah sarah God has a different different destiny for Jacob so he says that you are no longer Jacob you are Israel and God is going to has plan and purpose and a great destiny for you and me and revelation says that God has a special name for each one of us the name only God knows God is willing to give it to us whatever or wherever we are in our journey with with Christ God is taking us to next level the only problem is let us not become a destiny killer by hearing the roar of lion that is devil who has no power if we stay who we are in Christ if we believe in what Jesus has done for us and when he said it is finished we are powerful and they are because the holy spirit god himself is with us and jesus said that all authority and power is given to me on earth and in heaven and lo i am with you till the end of this age i hope god has blessed you today so let us move boldly to fulfill our destiny